Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Ike Love, and um, I am the author and creator of the blog, The Viable Alternative, which is an inspirational blog where I share the wisdom and insights gained on my path to becoming a greater, stronger of myself. Um, hmm. Very interestingly, it got colder really quick in this city, and I hate the fall, but um, that's why you see me wearing a sweater. As a matter of fact, you're going to see the sweater a lot this winter because I wear the sweater a lot because I love the sweater, but oh well, anyway. So um, I have some confessions to make today. Um, several confessions about myself. One of the confessions I have to make is that I am a very selfish person. I sometimes get into a mold where I don't consciously try to be selfish, but I just get in this mold where I kind of shut this, the, the world out and I just do myself without thinking of others. And um, yeah, it's just like, you know, I don't think about others. I just kind of do. And it's not something that's intentional. I just get in this like really like, one track mode, and I'm not even oblivious to other people's needs and wants. I can also say that um, I can be very rude and insensitive. And it's something I worked on for years, but you know, um, many times I've said things without thinking, I've hurt people's feelings, or just, you know, people look and be like, dude, how the hell can you say something like that? And I say something, I just say things without even thinking. I will also say that um, I can be very moody especially when I think too many people around me too much, like over a certain period of time and I want private time, I get very snappy. I also get very impatient. I have, I literally struggled with patience a long time in my life. I also get in these moves where I just can't stand people. Sometimes I'll say, I don't want to say the word hate. I vow never to hate anybody, but I get close to that with people sometimes. I lose patience with people and um, I can also be very judgmental. Um, on top of that, um, I feel very deeply feel very, my emotions I feel, I feel to the extreme. Um, you can attribute that if you're into astrology, my moon is in Scorpio and this placement, I feel things, you, you, people have this placement, you feel things very deeply, if you know what the hell I'm talking about. If you don't believe it, you know, hey, you know, but, um, and so when I get really depressed, man, I get really depressed and I'm like suicidal. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to jump off this building. I never, ever tried suicide, so everybody relax, but you know, I just get in those modes sometimes where I'm just like, you know, when I feel really down, it literally, it gets amplified like 20 times. Um, also, what I confess to all of you, I can be very resentful. I also, um, I don't forget. If someone did me wrong and they never apologized, um, I can sometimes, if not directly get a revenge of them, I do, I can do it passive aggressively. Because like I said, if someone slights me, I never, ever, ever forget. Also, um, I can be jealous in a relationship. I'll never show it, but I can be jealous. I can also be very uh, secretive to an almost paranoid extreme where I feel people are trying to secretly like, not secretly, but trying to completely get into my business and look into my stuff to almost like kind of like a pathological extent. And that's really because I guard myself like that. You know, another thing is also I tend to be very sometimes emotionally unavailable and uh, not let people in. Uh, so this is just part of my issues and faults. Now, with all these horrible faults that you're hearing, why the hell you want to listen to a douchebag talk about <laughs> this douchebag talk about growth and becoming a greater version of yourself? Well, this is what you call my dark side, my shadow self, and we all have it. I can now list to you a bunch of great uh, qualities that I have but this is my shallow self. This is my shallow side of myself, of who I have. And, you know, um, I don't really make apologies for having a dark side. What I do make apologies for is what may what I may do through that dark side, but I don't make apologies for having a dark side because everybody has a damn dark side, everybody. And probably if you're listening to this, yours is at least as bad as mine, at least, you know, probably maybe even worse, you know, but we can't really judge whose dark side is worse than the others. Maybe we can say that a guy who goes out and commits a crime has a worse dark side, but maybe I, we all have that same dark side, but that one just went and acted it out. So we can't really judge, but, um, we all have a dark side. And the thing is most people either, um, may be shocked at hearing this because either they're just totally unaware of the fact that they have a dark side, but they do. And the dark side, if they're not aware of it, the dark side controls them unconsciously where they just completely react. Other people um, may be aware of their dark side, but they don't want to take responsibility for it. It's always someone else's fault. It's their mom's fault. My pops put me down the stairs. My teacher called me a big head or an idiot or, or, or uh, um, whatever, you know. Um, uh, uh, it's their girlfriend's fault or whatever the, 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 the issue is. They don't want to take responsibility. And other people do take responsibility for their dark side, but they're too lazy to do anything about it so that it doesn't 
uh, infringe upon the rights of others. Because I don't really judge the fact of having a dark side, but it's about you not letting it violate and step on the toes of other people. But I will say this. So we all have dark sides. What do we do about this dark side? How do we control it? Well, for me, like I said, I have a dark side, but the greatest tool in keeping my dark side in check is self-awareness, where you're aware of when you're aware, you're aware of yourself enough to the point that you know when this dark side is coming on and you're now able to say, OK, you know, um, you're able to use the power of choice with this dark side. Your dark side tells you to go here. You're like, no, I'm going to go here. Or you're going to maybe step away so that the other person is not going to be a victim to your dark side. And I'll give you an example. Um, two years ago, I was involved with this woman. I was dating this girl. I dated this girl for a quiet part of 2014. And um, I remember one time I was supposed to go to her house and she was just ending her period. And, uh, you know, she said she calls me on the phone and says, to me, you know what? I would love to see you tonight. I love you to, to come by. But listen, um, I'm kind of still kind of cranky because of my period and I don't want to take it out on you. So as much as I love to see you, can we just see each other another day? And um, I really appreciate it and impressed because most people will never have the self-awareness to even um, recognize that about themselves. It shows the type of woman she was. Um, she was an amazing woman, the type of um, just the type of uh, growth she made to be aware of herself in that extent. And that's basically the way you cultivate self-awareness and, and use it to keep your dark side in check. Now, of course, um, because we're constantly growing and evolving and learning about ourselves, no matter how self-aware we are, there are going to be things that we learn about ourselves um, via the manifestation of our dark side that now we have to, after we express that dark side and it may hurt somebody or piss someone off, we now say, okay, I learned something new about myself. I do this and this and this. Next time, I'll be more uh, perceptive so I don't allow that to happen. Um, so, yeah, that is... Um, really how we reign in our dark side. For me, like I said in the beginning, I have a tendency to just say stupid stuff. I'm not even proud of it. I say stupid stuff sometimes that can hurt people's feelings. So <laughs> when I get involved with a woman and it's like about to like, you know, like, you know, we're about to take things further, I give her a little talk and say, listen, you know, there's a part of me that sometimes I say really stupid stuff. If I do it to you, please, I apologize in advance. Sometimes I just, I'm just ob oblivious and stuff just flies out my mouth. I never mean to hurt you. I'm working on it. It's not something I'm proud of. And I used to be worse back in the day. But, you know, if I ever do anything to offend you, please tell me and I will gracefully apologize because I don't want to hurt anybody. I don't want you to have an ex I don't want your experience of me with me to be uh, something where you reminisce that I constantly hurt you. That's not really what my um, what I want my uh, as long as I'm here on this earth, what I want to be remembered for uh, or what my impact to be. So I give that talk to every woman that I get involved with. So I um, preempt myself. Also, when I know that if people are around me, sometimes, like I said, when I want quiet time or just alone time, and I know that I, it's not going to happen at that mo moment, I become aware of the fact that I get cranky and I may just like step away or just like lean back a little bit and just like um, just keep my just lean back a little bit. So I keep myself in check. Uh, I believe that if more people were self-aware to their dark side, that there'll be a lot more healthy relationships out there because um, a lot of people, we get in relationships and due to our dark side, a lot of which is triggered by our childhood issues and trauma and pain and, you know, relationships with our parents that, you know, weren't necessarily helpful or dysfunctional, all this stuff, you know, it builds a dark side in us. We get in a relationship and because we're not aware of what we just act out. And what happens is that the relationship becomes dysfunctional where both people are um, reacting to their own dark sides. And if had people just have some type of self-awareness to this dark side, um, they and you know, awareness of dark side, <coughs> excuse me, plus um, taking responsibility for it and having the proper tools to deal with it, um, there could be a lot, you know, of communication we want to, between one another where each other can help each other, one, the other person navigate their dark side so it doesn't infringe upon the relationship and they can use their dark side to actually grow both individually and for the relationship to grow. So um, I um, advise you um, become more self-aware to those tendencies that tend to cause conflict with others and conflict within yourselves, which in turn will cause conflict with others because conflict within others is a direct reflection of what goes on inside a lot of the time. Um, yeah, self-awareness literally covers a multitude of sins. And like I said, man, I am absolutely not the perfect person at all. What saves me a lot of times is my self-awareness, period. Um, there are many, many, many times where I could do, do something completely stupid, 
but I'm self-aware of it. And I'm like, oh, that's that thing I'm possibly going to do now. And if I'm not stable enough to think rationally, I'll call one of my close friends and um, I have the self-awareness to call one of my, self my close friends and say, hey, I'm going through this right now. I need someone to ground me so that they can keep me in check. Um, another friend of mine, I don't think he handles it totally correctly, but he says that when he has an issue with his girlfriend, he um, clams up because sometimes he's feeling so angry, he doesn't want to say the wrong thing, he just shuts his mouth. And I said, well, you know, the next thing you probably want to do is be self-aware about that and communicate to her that you're shutting your mouth because you don't want to say anything stupid so that she can appreciate you communicating to her that and she'll respect you more because most guys are not like that. Most people are not like that. So anyway, I hope this helps. I hope that um, you start to cultivate self-awareness in your life. Believe me, it's going to take you to levels. You don't have to necessarily conquer your insecurities, but the fact that you become self-aware of them, you're self-aware of your dark side, your shadow self, that literally will take you very far. Anyway, I hope all this helps. This is The Viable Alternative. If you um, like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click on like. And if you like what I have to say, please comment. Um, and you can go also to my site to read more, www.theviablealternative.com. And I say, man, keep your dark side in check with self-awareness. Take care and God bless.